Like Minchin, did you take a page of This kid could pose for Europe! Oh! oh what a yogi! Oh, Take it again! Take it again! Hamas a woodwork! He's gonna give us a banana now! Better not slip on it, pal! Oh, he's up for the Minchin! No good! Maganali all style! No comments! Oh, oh, the last one! The power took it into the corner like a Phil Killer dot! Shock horror! It is not the penalty king, it's Charlie on 12! Kamara 9, it is 9, Rodney 5, Ali McAnally 5, and Hoblin Jeffrey 2. Overall then, it is holds a slight lead over McAnally. Charlie Nicholas on their toes with 44, Kamara 35, Rodney 23, Jeffrey 16. No more. Big finish is coming, I'm surprised like his master, I thought he would have handled the pressure better, but <laughs> he just can't cope, his shocks were on up. Has this ruined your record, Littis? Uh, no. Feel <laughs> <laughs> you worse? Oh, I've missed more than one, don't worry about that. <laughs> were you outside, right. by the keeper? I was outside, yeah. It was just, I, I saw him diving that way and thought I'd put it in the other yeah. corner, just overcompensate a little bit. To be fair to the goalie, it's a wonderful chest, didn't he? I think Colchester could do what's the same this boy. What was the highlight, so Tony? Saving oh, Marshy's oh, penalty? Uh, McNally on, George. Oh, oh, yes! Oh, that's a very well oh, God, Tony, you're killing me, though. <laughs> Unbelievable. Wow. I thought it was a magnificent save, probably well played. And just, and just finally, Jeff, you didn't trouble the scorers there. <laughs> yeah, no change there. Because uh, Tony works with me, he's going to have a hell of a couple of days ahead of him, I'll tell you that. To be fair, his last penalty, he did call it, he said, I'm putting this well over the bar. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we spot on. <laughs> Welcome back to Jeff Rodney and pals, and so to the climax, the grand finale, the decider. Every sinew had been stretched, maximum effort given, no quarter asked in the attempt to deliver. But enough of the bar staff, who kept us refreshed between the legs. <laughs> it's the conclusion of the first ever Senior Star. And now let's hatch our surprise event. Have you guessed it? Bob's a spoon and an egg. And a race. Just reminding you, the Tazer's now leading in with 47. McAnally, 45 seconds. Nicholas on the hills with 44. Kamara, 35. Marsh, 23. Stelling, 16. I'm <laughs> dropped oh. yeah, as well. That's a good start. I'm not sure how much time this lot spent at school, so they might have not done this before. And as usual, Mr. Gallagher has a few checks to make. Nothing not alive. studs. He's looking for blue tack. Sweat. <laughs> Spit. Spearman chewing gum. Right, right. Any All device right. they might right. think to cheat. Right. Think I've yeah, well. got a <laughs> Seems clean, even for him. Final event, egg and spoon race. Take your marks. Get set. This time was Rodney off too fast. In the middle, it's Charlie again. A big sprint by Kamara Fields, bounces his egg off. Letizier might just hold on to the lead. And McAnally comes through and bounces his egg away to nowhere. McNally makes an omelette. Rodney minces in. Nearly caught by a re egg. McNally on the line. Charlie, well done, mate. Thanks, mate. Well, Mensin was the weir. Little tippy two steps. Took Charlie into an early lead. Matt's striding too much. I don't know what Jeff's doing. Looks like wee Willy Wingy. Late surge by Maganali went totally cockeyed. Jeff's home. But from that angle, hey, I'm gone smack. <laughs> I thought it is, it just picked Charlie, oh. but he lost his egg. Six inches out, pick me to Charlie. <laughs> Quick check on the rules. <laughs> the Tiz can still get points if he recrosses the marker. He's just coming in now. And comes out, dodgy finger. I don't believe when he cheated again. Second. 
We're all disqualified, Jess, what up? Yes. What are you What up? I'm again. I'm my true talent, egg and spoon races. I'm going to get in serious trade of the next egg and spoon. The kids will love you at school, won't they, when you win it, the lads and dads? Yeah. Result in sixth place, Matt Letizia, fifth, Alan McAnally, fourth, Rodney Marsh, third, Cammy, second, Jeff Stelling, and the winner, Charlie Nicholas. Charlie, Charlie, Chip, Chip at the top, and at last, Stelling finds somebody he's good at. Kamara third, Marsh six, Magnoli four, Letizia, a dodgy two. Our winner then, Charlie Nicholas, 56, clear of joint second, Letiz and Magnoli. Kamara 43, Marsh 29, Stelling the Stumbler, 26. Prizes dished out by Helen Chamberlain. With 26 points. That's last, isn't it? Mr. Jeff Stelling. In fifth place, with 29 points, Mr. Rodney Marsh. I think the the sprint, if we call it a sprint, uh, I think that was the one because the, the boys looked a bit wrecked after that and I think the stamina told, so uh, the egg and spoon to finish, and I, I, I did say it probably would be down to that, was, uh, was a formality. <laughs> <laughs> so well done to Charlie Nicholas. Yeah. Of course, well done Charlie. <laughs> of course there could be only one winner, leaving four losers and one bad loser. <laughs> I would have won it. But for the rower, I fancy myself to win the rower, I've been practising on the rower and even after doing 30 seconds and then falling off it I've still finished third on my little one on its own so I would have won that, I would have won the rower and I would have won the main event Do you think that was the turning point? That was it, the turning point I knew I was going to finish last in the uh, golf so that was a bonus, I got two points extra on that but the rower was the killer And it did a lot of psychological damage didn't it? It did, it killed me completely not that, I've ever, not that I'll mention it ever again but the <laughs> rower did me Big style. Well, you're not in the studio to have your say here, so this is your chance. Do you think it could be a rematch? Um, I would hope so. I would hope so, and I think um, we should do it all again next year. The same six, and uh, Jeff Stellin surely will train for it this time. <laughs> well, he trains for it this time and has managed to pull two, ma two muscles, and he's done his groin in as well. Um, well, he's lucky. That's all he's done, <laughs> basically, because I have to say, an absolute disgrace. Unbelievable, Jeff. <laughs> <laughs> and happy birthday to you, Cammy, as well. Yeah, yeah. Celebrates his birthday on Christmas Day. Fantastic. Uh, Charlie, well done. Were you surprised? Of course I wasn't. I had uh, the two younger boys <laughs> on my right here. I was a formality. We use older guys. But I know you were in training for six, seven weeks, Jeff, because normally you meet me on a Friday night for a glass of wine, don't you? You disappeared over the last five or six <laughs> weeks. Because I was bored with you. <laughs> <laughs> Rod Rodney, was it mission accomplished you beat me? Fair and square. Yeah, it was not a bit dark, Jeff, was it this place? <laughs> oh, yes, it was. Oh, no, no it was. was. <laughs> oh, yes, it was. <laughs> I do hope you enjoyed the first and last 
Capulet Soccer Saturday Senior Stars. <laughs> Next Christmas, it's Celebrity Fight Club, as Rodney takes on anyone who'd like the chance to punch his lights out. <laughs> Could be a long show. Have a great festive season, and just remember, however much you eat, you still won't be as bad as me. Happy Christmas from all of us.